right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Razor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Enforcer. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. Well, so much UFC history has taken place here in Abu Dhabi. Plenty more where that came from tonight as we return to the Etihad Arena. This place is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Superdome a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, outside of the color of the Superdome, it is not up to par with the Etihad Arena, which would make me take a shot at my own team. But yes, an absolutely stunning venue, and the fights have been top-notch here. Beautiful kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Went for the inside leg kick. So now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. So more output, at least in the early going. Hands on your face. Lift him with the right hand there. types of fights that we expect. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, 
Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Great punch landing with so much power. Midway through round one. Straight right hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot. Oh! Massive left hand. Got to the spot. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for two rounds here on the ground with this guy. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Past the two minute mark in round one. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Just missed with the elbow there. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Nice block. Overhand lands flush. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. One minute. Nice straight right lands. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind him. It's nasty. Oh, massive knee to the head. Nice jab there. There's the horn, what a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him Ready in fight. the octagon tonight. Ready. Round two on the way. Right on the button. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Clean with the right hook. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like if you walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, got him with the head kick. and change to go in round two. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Nice kick to the body. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. He's taking a lot of body shots this round. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Unable to connect there. Fighters committed to the head kicks. That one landed. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. 30 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful shot lands the leg there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Archer, right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight moves on. Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Out of range with that one. Back and forth we go. Going to the sidekick. Oh, he connects there. Big knee there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of it. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Right hook to the head block. All right, well, we have the best cut men and women in the business, and they are going to have some work to do if we get back to the stools. This thing is nasty. It's nasty. I mean, it's hard to watch this guy rely on the toughness knowing that his opponent will not relent. His opponent will not give him any breathing room. The guy's going to continue to attack his cut, and if it keeps getting worse at this rate, this fight's going to be stopped. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. That will end it, yep. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Checks that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You gotta be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attack. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh! Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, Many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Final seconds of the round. All right, that's three rounds 
in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is up. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got to start throwing down. Strike gets through. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. Mm, that was nice. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, right into mount. He's got to be careful here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that... We might get a stoppage here soon. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered. To nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both even know them. They're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Keep your hands up. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good, fun fight. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him. Oh! And there it is! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face, you can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man, this is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt. 